So in the past, I've shown you case statements in Bash, and I just recently showed you functions. Let's look at working with the two together. Let's create a script. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, but feel free to use whatever text editor you prefer. And we'll just call this funcase.sh. And we'll start it off like we do all our Bash scripts with our uh, shebang line of bin Bash. Now, Let's uh, start off by creating a variable called x, and we'll set x equal to 0. And then we're going to create our loop. This is the loop of our program that will keep on going until someone answers the questions properly and it gets exited out. And we're going to say while x equals, sorry, dollar sign x because it's a variable, equals 0, which it does at this point. What are we going to do? We're going to do everything between this do and done lines. Okay, so let's clear the screen. I always like to do that. It makes things look cleaner. We're going to echo do you like apples or bananas. And then we'll wait for a response from the user. And we're going to capture that response with read and we'll just call it fruit as our new variable. Now we'll start our case statement and we'll just case and then we'll put down here case backwards and that will be the end of our case statement and we're gonna say case and we'll say dollar sign fruit so it's checking what the input from the user is in the variable fruit. What are we gonna do? We're going to give the two options apples or bananas, so we're going to say apples and we'll put a new line here and we'll say echo you like apples then we'll put this here knowing that that's the end of that uh, option in the case statement that's double semicolons and then we'll say the other option is bananas and we'll say Echo, you like bananas, semicolons, no, that's the end of that option. And then we're going to do a catch-all, so we're going to do asterisk, and we'll do uh, our parenthesis there. And we will just echo, that is not an option. We'll let the screen sleep at that point for one second. And then we'll clear the screen. We'll sleep for another second. And we will echo. Oh, sorry. I'm getting out of order here. Before that sleep. So we'll clear the screen, then we'll echo out. Please type either apples or bananas. We have our sleep for one second and then two semicolons to know that's the end of that option there. And basically, this will loop forever because right now x always equals zero. Let's go ahead and have a look at our program here, save that, make it executable, and dot slash to run it. Type something wrong on line six. Let's see. We got X, we create X, that's fine. And Sorry, I don't think there's supposed to be spaces there. Sorry, I've been doing a lot of Python work where you can have spaces there. Okay, uh, I spelled bananas wrong. That's number one. But now I can type apples. And I can type bananas. We're not seeing anything. And the reason for that is that we'll hit Control C to kill that. Vim, first off, let's fix our spelling error here. Um, the reason for that is because it is echoing that out but it's continuing the loop and right away it's cleared out. So what do we do? 
at this point, we can just set it x equal to 1. Really, it could be anything x as long as x is not 0. That will end our loop. So we'll save it, run it again. I'll write apples. It says you like apples. I'll run it again. I'll type bananas. It says you like bananas. Great. But what if I type bananas with a capital B? That is not an option. You need to type apples or bananas. Uh, so here we can once again, I can type anything and it'll say that is not an option. So how do we fix the case problem? Simple enough. Uh, let's edit our script. And if you watched the tutorial I did a few days ago, uh, I showed you how a few very simple regular expressions stuff. What we can do is we'll take this A here and we'll put it inside square brackets with a capital A. That means that that first letter can be capital or lowercase. And we'll do the same thing for the B here. It can be either of those characters, capital or lowercase. Save it, run it. Now I can type apples and it says you like apples. I can run it again. I can type apples with a capital A and it runs. What I can't do though is type apples with random capital letters because it does not recognize that. I'll get more into regular expressions in the future, but for right now, most of the time people are going to type either a capital A or lowercase a and the rest of the word. So we should be mostly fine. Now, the point of this is that we've already gone over case statements in the past. We're going to combine this with a function to where you can have another case statement to answer, ask an additional question based on their answer. So up here, I'll create another function, or create another function, create a function, and we'll call that function apples. And we put our parentheses there. We'll give our squiggly brackets like so, and everything between these squiggly brackets are part of our function. We will first off clear the screen because I like to do that. We're going to echo, do you like red or green apples? We'll wait for the user input with read and we'll create a variable called apples based on that. Then we'll start our case statement and we will close our case statement. I like to do that before I forget. So just type case backwards if you can. There you go. And uh, where are we checking in the case statement? We are going to check the value of apples in, and then we'll have our options here. We can have green, and we can echo, oh, comma, you like green apples? And then we'll do our, actually, that could probably be on this same line here. We can go red and we'll echo good. You like red apples? Double semicolon. I'm pretty sure you can put all this on one line. I haven't tested that out. We'll see if we get an error. We'll do our catch all, which will echo. Um, I wouldn't eat apples that color. So that would be anything other than red and green. We already have the closing of our case statement here. But after that, we're going to set x equal to 1 so that it does not go back into our loop. Let's save it. Let's run it. I'll type apples. That is not an option. Why is that not an option? What did we change? I typed it right, right? Let's look again. Maybe I just typed it wrong. Apples. Okay, I think that I must have left the S off or something. Okay, uh, user input error not programming error. Okay, uh, so we're still printing out you like apples. All we have to do is delete this line. We'll add in a new line and we'll just type apples and that means to run the apples function. We'll save that. We'll run it. Do you like apples or bananas? I'll type apples 
It says, do you like red or green apples? We'll type red and it says, good, you like red apples. We'll run it again. We'll type apples. We'll type green and it says, oh, you like green apples. We'll run it again. We'll type apples and this time we'll type blue and it says, um, I wouldn't eat apples that color. Great, our program is great except for just to make things a little bit better, we're going to add in here so we can type green with a capital G and red with a capital R. Save it, run it, apples, and we can type in red with a capital R, run it again, and we can type red all lowercase, still works. We'll type apples, and we'll type green, works, and we'll type apples, and we'll type green with a capital G. Everything seems to be working. And that is uh, using functions with case statements so that you can have additional case statements clearly marked out and defined inside that function. Uh, check out the links in the description. The first link will be to the post on this video where you can also download my scripts so you can have a look at it, give it a try, run it, uh, and also uh, you can post comments there and there's additional information on the site there. Also visit us uh, in the forum filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. The link is in the description. Also check us out on IRC on Freenode. Uh, the channel is Pound Films by Chris. It's Chris with a K. Thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.